Today we're going to go over how testosterone replacement therapy has impacted my lipids. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, this isn't medical advice, you shouldn't use this in place of any medical advice. I'm not a doctor, but I hire doctors and nurse practitioners at Steel Health and Hormone Center. We are an HRT and alternative medicine clinic. Now let's get into it. A little bit of background about me. I've struggled with my lipids since I was a teenager. I've had my total cholesterol up over 300 in the past, and I've brought it down to a manageable level without using statins. I did that basically through major dietary intervention. I have a, probably the most popular video on this channel. It's called How I Lowered My Lipids by 130 Points Without Using Statins. I'll link that at the end of this video. But I've had an issue with my lipids for years and years and years. About 28, 29, I did that intervention, a dietary intervention, and I was able to bring it down to normal levels. Now we're gonna take a look at what they looked like before testosterone replacement therapy and how they've changed six months into testosterone replacement therapy. So we all want testosterone replacement therapy to get jacked, to be healthy, to improve our lifestyle, but we don't wanna die, right? And there's a lot of controversy on how much lipids actually matter to heart health, but we're gonna take the standard medical approach here because I don't think there's any reason for your LDL cholesterol to be sky high, and you definitely don't want your HDL cholesterol to be low. Now, let's look at my lipids pre-TRT. Before testosterone replacement therapy, my lipids basically look perfect. Total cholesterol at 181, HDL cholesterol at 75, triglycerides at 85, LDL at 88, and all the ratios look great. This is the best my lipids can look, okay? Maybe yours look a little bit better, but for me, this is as close to perfect as it's gonna get. I started testosterone replacement six months ago. I am on 180 milligrams of injectable testosterone cypionate per week. That works for me. We're gonna see how it impacted my lipids. So if we do a comparison of before TRT to after TRT, we see that my total cholesterol went from 181 to 184. So it really didn't move very much. My HDL cholesterol went from 75 to 65. So remember, HDL is considered the good cholesterol. I hate to use that, that's kind of myopic, but we're just gonna say that's the good cholesterol. And it did drop a little bit. Now, it's still in a very, very healthy range. I'd like to see it stay at 75. It went down a little bit. But this is something to be monitored. This isn't alarming to me. It just tells me, you know, every couple of months, I'm gonna keep up with it. And if you're a patient, then you know that we keep up with your labs as well. Triglycerides actually went down. So they went from 85 to 72. This is what might give some people pause, but I'm gonna explain this. My LDL cholesterol went from 88 to 103. Okay. The LDL cholesterol oftentimes is seen as the bad cholesterol. Again, I think that's a little myopic, but we're just gonna look at the standard procedures as it relates to blood lipids for this video. A couple things can cause a rise in LDL. And in my case, what I think's happening is since I started testosterone replacement therapy, my body composition has changed for the better. So I am a lifter, I try to stay in shape, all the time. If you go back on my channel, you can see that I've been doing this, living a fitness lifestyle since before testosterone replacement therapy. But since I started it, my body composition has actually improved. I'm about six pounds, seven pounds heavier now is about where I stabilized since pre-TRT, but I've stayed just as lean, if not a little bit leaner. And what'll happen is when you're losing body fat, this, I did an extensive video on this as well. When you're in the process of losing body fat, you'll notice that your LDL cholesterol will come up a bit. Okay, so as I think my body composition continues to change for the better, we're gonna see that change in LDL cholesterol. So what I think I need to do to get a very accurate read on LDL cholesterol is wait for my body to really reach homeostasis. When I can look in the mirror, you know, and maybe in three more months, and I see, okay, I'm pretty much stable here, the scale looks the same, my body looks the same, and then we'll see where my LDL cholesterol actually stabilizes. So, in the kind of uh, short-sighted way, you can look and be like, okay, his LDL went up, that's obviously bad, his HDL went down, that's, that's 
not bad, but I would make the argument that my triglycerides went down, my HDL is still in a healthy range, and I think my LDL going up is more of a reflection of a change in body composition than it is some type of dramatic issue with heart health. But we're gonna monitor this. So look, if you're interested in learning about testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, alternative medicine, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. If at the very least you wanna see how my lipids change, how they've changed over time, subscribe to the channel. If you like this content, please like the video. And if you're interested in testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, or alternative medicine, I'm going to link my website down below. It's steelhealthandhormonecenter.com. Fill out a contact form. We do telemedicine all across the United States, and we will be in touch within 24 hours. I'm Alex Wallace. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you again soon.